Hello, this is a short video explaining how you can create self-enroll groups with discussion boards. So the reason why you might use this option is if you have a series of topics that you would like students to discuss in small groups, then what you can do with the self-enroll groups tool is allow students to sign up for the discussion that they would like to engage with and then they are automatically in the group and have access to the correct discussion board. So to do this, instead of setting up a discussion board directly, what we need to do is actually set up the group and set up the discussion board as part of the group settings. So to do that, we need to go to the course management area of our module, click on users and groups and click on groups. OK, so we don't have any groups in this module yet other than the default LSP group, which is in, added into all modules. So we need to create our groups. And as typically you're not going to want only one group, you want several groups, the option I am recommending is group set self enroll. So to explain what a group set is, it's essentially a group of groups and that allows you to manage the settings for multiple groups on the same page. So a single area to manage all your settings. Quite helpful as opposed to having to go into every group individually and alter the settings. So I'm going to click on self-enroll, group set. Now I need to give my group set a name, a sort of umbrella term for all of the groups in this set. So I'm going to say module discussion groups and then in the description, I would say keep it brief here, but uh, this is just a quick description of what this is for. So, Okay, and then the next bit down here, you need to leave this as yes for group is visible to students. And then you need to decide which tools are going to be left switched on. So in this case, we only want the discussion board. So we're going to turn off blogs. Um, I do tend to leave email on because that can be quite useful for students sending emails to the group or you sending emails to the group. But everything else can be turned off. Uh, a little bit further down on the page here, allow personalization. That's quite fun because the students can um, sort of make the group a different colour and add a banner and things like that so they can kind of personalise it. Um, now just a point on the discussion board setting here before I move on any further. Um, the option here by default is to allow any group members to create forums. If you would like students to not be able to create forums which are essentially sort of separate discussion areas and you'd just like them to be able to create discussion threads in the existing forum, turn this to do not allow student groups to members to create forums. So I think in this case I'm going to recommend do not allow because we'd just like students to discuss things within the forum we've provided. Okay, so if we keep going down the page, this is our sign up sheet, so this is where we're going to explain to the students what they need to sign up for and why. So we're going to call this um, module discussion group sign up sign up sign up for the discussion helps if I can spell <laughs> discussion that you wish to take part in. Please choose carefully as if you need to change to a different top uh, discussion group then you will need to be in contact with me. Okay, and uh, if you wanted to be kind to the students, you can make this a mail to link, which you can do by copying the text, clicking on the little link icon, typing in mail to, 
and a colon and then pasting in your email address. So that then makes that a little email friendly link. So the next option down on the page is that you've got uh, the maximum number of members per group. So let's say these are groups of four, but obviously this can be anything you need. And it's quite good if you've got large modules um, that it can do this automatically. The next option down is whether you want to show members. I typically leave this unticked because you don't want students to choose their group based on sort of people they know. It's better that they choose the group based on the discussion topic alone. And then once they're on the group listing page, they can see, um, or the, the actual, once they're in the group that they've enrolled to, then they can see the list of students who are also members of that group. So I think that's a good way of doing it. Um, we want to allow the students to sign up from the group's listing page and the number of topics we have is four. So you can also create a smart view in the Grade Centre which filters the Grade Centre by those different groups. I'm not going to do that right now, but it is an option. So then you can click Submit and here are our module discussion groups. So you'll notice they've got kind of generic names like one, two, three, four at the moment. So I'd quite like to change those so that it's more instructive to the students which groups they are signing up for. So to change all of the groups, you can go to this little arrow on the right hand side of your group set and you can edit the group set membership. Now this takes you into a helpful page here where you can quickly alter the names of the group set groups. So I want to make group one um, the global warming discussion. Group two, sustainable energy. Group three, alternative vehicles. Group four, uh, ooh, what could we have? Solar panels. So then if I had anyone I wanted to add into the group here, say some instructors who are facilitating the group, I can add them in here. So if I wanted to, for example, add myself as a facilitator on to the global warming group, I would make sure that I click on the little show all users regardless of role option and click go because it won't show me because I'm an instructor unless I tick that little box there. Then I can submit that and add myself as a facilitator to the global warming group. Then to finish this process I just scroll down to the bottom and hit submit. So now you can see the groups there. So just now these groups are not available for students to actually enrol to. The next step is that we need to provide a link for the students that's accessible to them for them to sign up. So the way I recommend doing this is to use the, um, and, and this can be a little tricky if you have timetable groups as well, so that's something to bear in mind, um, is whether you, there's two different ways of doing it, but if you have the timetable groups you might have a lot of groups that show to students, so I'll show you both methods. So the first method is to go to the plus sign here and go to the option which is a tool link and click on that and then you have an option in this list called groups and then you can put sign up for your group and make that available to users. So that's the easiest way because now if I go in and masquerade as a preview student, if I go into this, you'll see that I can click on view, sign up sheet to join a group. So you've got then the sign up options on there, which is great. So I can sign up for a group, I'll sign up for this one, and then I'm in there. Okay, I'm just gonna exit the preview. Okay, and you can see now that 
I'm in that group. Well, you can see that as an instructor, I'm in that group. It's got this helpful little link to my group on the bottom left hand side there. So that's great. But if you have timetable groups, you're going to end up with a very messy page here because this is the groups page. And so you might have loads and loads of groups on there. And I think by default, they are visible. Um, so yeah, that could be a bit messy. So if you want to create a, a different kind of sign up, um, you could do that somewhere like module information. And what you can do is if you go to groups, tools groups, you can instead of doing a the link to the groups page, you can link to um, the group set. So I could link to the module discussion groups group set. So if I do that, and I would recommend reiterating any instructions about how you expect students to engage with the group discussions in this text box here, because they'll see this every time they click on it. So and any expectations that you have. Okay, so then we scroll down to the bottom of the page and hit submit. And so if I go into student preview now and go into module information. So I scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on module discussion groups. And then you can see I've got my sign up sheet and we're just seeing the specific groups that I have an option to join up to. Okay, that's great. So that is how you can set up self-enroll discussion groups. And if I sign up for one as a test student, let's do global warming. You can see that I can access my discussion board from here. And because I did not give people, students, the option of adding more forums, I've just got one clear global warming forum which I want students to create threads in. So I think that's a good way of keeping the discussion organized um, and keeping it on track. Thanks for watching.